Poem 1 April A mouth speaks, chanting the heart's rhythm. April, caught in the same old room, looks at the peeling wallpaper like dead skin peeling slowly from the wall, waiting to fall along the floor, be swept away from the present into the past. She'll dust her hands of the remnants when she is done. Realities are sharp, cutting. She believes each man to be a blade, herself only a spoon. Life is all which drawer you are shut within before the kitchen light is turned off for the evening. She was taught to sever her dreams like the strands of hair she cut from her head before placing the dye along her scalp, trying to wash a future into her being at the age of fifteen, trying to wash the past away, look old enough that vulnerabilities paled, that she wouldn't be seen as a runaway. Six years later, the world has only gotten colder, every touch icing her soul, casting snow on her life, every face another storm, every day another winter. A mouth speaks, chanting the heart's rhythm, only here where these walls are asking for fresh life, as she is, does she dare to pray, does belief in anything not seem to be a slap in the face of the truth. She can still feel the sting along the line of her jaw. A mouth speaks, still sculpting a life worth living. Poem 2, Breaking the Rib she had hung her skin on the door handle, left her muscles along the counter, one by one, placing them in sterile bags, each lettered, numbered. The heart was still pounding in the kitchen sink, water dripping from the tap. We were set to speak, set for the surgery, the invisible cuts, tongues and touches formed into scalpels. I want you to build me again, she said. She had spent a life wiping herself away on city streets, looking for the right set of hands that could fashion her into themselves, give her another birth out of her old life. I had lived understanding the anatomy of the soul, sometimes too much of it, forcing my way back into the light through the dark ages that came to rest their heads like sleeping giants within my dreams and feeling the sting of many days, many wars unwritten, knew that men and women were often rocks who saw one another as water, breaking against each the other, breaking against to break out, because breaking into, through those ribs, was just too painful, too much to own. I can't build you. It was simple, foolish. Do truths oversimplified become less in their expression? Less because the words cannot fit within a socket, within a palm. Do not fit the way they should, like each body part connected by ligaments, tied by understanding the truth of the deeper motions. But I can try to give you the tools to build yourself. She had been searching for man as God, man as creator, heavenly protector, Man is a symbol, an instrument of faith. I have been the dream of the dreamer before, something that turned another into a god of their lesser selves, never making one symbol meet the other, instead extraditing another to be the greater or lesser part of their own wholeness, their own unity. To her silence, I only added, you didn't come for my rib. Rising from the chair, she gathered herself up, swallowed her heart back down, drew her skin back over her body and headed for the door. I had let her go. I had come to accept my limitations. She was looking for God in all the wrong places. Poem 3, The Heart of the Desert The heart gives way to the desert. Sands crawl through the corners of the mouth, prancing upon the lips. 
waiting to dry the moisture from the tongue, slowly traveling toward the lungs, into the blood, a hushed song on the lips of the dying. The speed of darkness some days is more pronounced than any truth that can tickle it into shining, into revealing the mysteries beyond it, so the last flicker is gathered down into a quiet pulse. You learn the words to tear roots from the ground eons ago, found their magic passionately reprehensible, and never realized that in owning a power you are still owned, and nothing ever escapes, ever further relates when you limit your vision. As the night itself brings up a cough, the grains of sand slowly find their way back up, spilling out across the floor. The roots seep into the ground deeper than before. The heart gives way to the desert, like life gives way to death's scythe. But the heart fights back against the current. And so, my friend, does life. Poem 4 Seasons Are mornings like these when you wake To stare at the face of a clock Only to realize it has its hand around your throat You learn to regret the smile The hand that once touched your face When time soothed you because the dew from each kiss Watered the vines Nourished the roots. Now there are only walls where winter has pressed her naked legs around your head and waking to the memory of summer. Poem 5 On Leaving Everyone loves but it has always seemed most love the wrong things. Their lives are extended into their sofas. Their personalities are imbued upon their sofa cushions. In the theory of rhetoric, they make the lover they want out of the one they have, as a tree is felled, built into a house. This was the cold wind that crept through the window many nights, awakening us to views of the ceiling for we fracture with our ideas of perfection. The final closing of so many doors as well as the meeting of the skyline, which quietly asked so few questions, but took each footstep the way a mother takes a child to her breast. The note on the tabletop will explain. Everyone loves the ideas of their perfection. Their perfection which will always stand between each other. <laughs>